Good evening, everyone. Tonight I'd like to play for you a little bit of Mozart. Hope you enjoy it. I don't like that sound. It's too, it's too brittle. It's too harsh. is I'm going to voice it. I'm going to needle it, the hammer, and see if I can soften that. Uh, I'll show you what I do. First of all, I, I take this big screw out. There's a screw holding up, there's a screw holding up the right cheek and the, and the left cheek. And by unscrewing here, I take out this huge screw and that one down there, which I've already removed. And uh, then I remove the lock rail. So I lift up on here and take the lock rail off. That's the lock rail. And then I lift the fall board up and out and put it over there. So I'll take this microphone off so that I can do that. And remember to put it back on. So I lift up like this. There we go, and uh, and then I'm going to pull the action out, but I've got to be so careful when I pull the action out because if I'm touching these keys and depressing them in any way, that means the hammer is going to be up in the air, and if it if it's up in the air when I pull out on the action, the hammers will get caught on the pin block and they'll smash off, and the sound of that crunching wood is a just a terrible sound because you know <laughs> how much work is involved in repairing all of that. It's just unbelievable. So you have to just catch it by the key frame and draw towards you, and it should come out if you shimmy it a little wee bit. So we'll see. We'll try anyway. Oh, I've got to have my little needler handy. Um, This little tool is invaluable for, for uh, softening the felt. There's, there's little needles, if you can see them there, uh, four little needles. And when you can soften the head of the hammer with that, not going too deep, because if you go too deep, then you soften the foundation of the hammer and you won't have any power when you play big. So you've got to be very careful. And this should really only be done after you've had the piano tuned. This piano is desperately in need of a tuning. But uh, I just wanted to show you how this is done. So we'll give it a try anyway, pulling the action out. And uh, I'll put this over here. So I just put my two fingers on either end on the key frame, and, and I draw toward me wiggling it left and right. And voila, out comes your piano action. You see there's a spring in there for the soft pedal that moves the, moves the hammers so that it plays on only on two wires instead of three for the, when you want the soft pedal down. So, so what I do is I find which hammer it is that's needing to be needled. And it's this one. It's starting to really be needing to be carded a little bit. It's starting to get some grooves on there. And that would be another thing that I should be doing before I card, before I voice it. So. But just to show you, 
what I'm doing here and see if we can make a little bit of a, an improvement on that note. I'm just shoving the, the needles into the felt, the surface of the felt a little bit to, to soften it. So we're going to see whether that, that much made any difference. And when you put it back, you've got to, again, be careful that there are no hammers, that you're not pressing down. See, if you press down, the hammer's up in the air, and then the pin block smashes it off if you pull. So, but you see, when you play a note on the piano, it's, the hammer gets slung up into the wire, and it makes a curve, a sine curve, out of the wave of, of the piano wire vibrating. And so, when you can relax your hand completely as you drop down, and the finger is firm, it's steel, because this closes, this opens, and makes it firm. The finger is firm, and then when you flop down with your body weight, and right through to the floor, not just to the key, but right through to the floor, then you can play down with the finger and pull the wrist up and feel you're balancing the weight on the key. And, and that just can be so gentle and you can be so, see, you can just, you still want the hammer to catch in the back check. That's the back check back there and this is the heel of the hammer and it catches in that buckskin so that it doesn't bubble back like that. And so, but you can still, you can still draw the finger toward you as you do it. And each of the 88 keys is the same. You see, each one. So you, can, you just feel the back of the upper arm and everything melting down. And f f when the hammer is hard like that, if I can relax the hand even more, sometimes I can camouflage how bad it is and make it not sound that clangy sound. So anyway, we'll see whether having needled this hammer that little bit, whether it's softened it enough to make it less abrasive sounding and less clangy sounding. So we'll, we'll put the, slide the action back in now. And it's just that there's a spring in there for the soft pedal that you have to be able to, to get around and then you can push it in. But n careful not to push down on those. Slide it in, slide it in, all the way. And then what you need to do is get the fall board and put it back on because then the cheeks go down in and there's little pins on either end there and they position the action exactly the way it's going to be when you tighten those big screws in. So I'll go get the fall board and put it back in for you. Just a second now. Take this microphone off. Here we go. That's tricky too. Just that. Then I'll get so I'll put the lock rail back on now. I'll put the microphone back on. <laughs> yeah. There. So the next step will be to screw those two big screws back in. And then I'm back in business. So let's see whether Mozart sounds less clangy when I do that now. See, it's not nearly as noisy. Now that sounds noisy because this is not nearly so clangy.
it is so much safer now to play on it. I'm not afraid of it when I go to play on it. And, uh, and that's basically what I wanted to show you, that, that uh, first you get the piano tuned, and then you can have the tuner voice it. And you can get a lot more color out of an instrument, even if it's not a good quality piano. This is a good quality piano. It's a Steinway. But uh, it's been through the mill, so <laughs> it was used at the Arts Center for 50 years, and uh, well, nearly well, 1969 till night till after 2000, so over 30 years of really hard work, and and then it was sent off to Montreal, and they ruined it. They pulled leads out and uh, and uh, tried to compensate putting the wrong hammers on. It should have had German hammers on because it's a German Steinway but they put American and they were way too heavy. So then they tried pulling out leads out of the keys and they screwed up the whole action. So it's not nearly the even piano it was the way it was when I played on it in 1969 or 1970. It was just magic, this piano. So, um, but Don Cote helped and did a lot of work on it and we've really improved it a lot. So. Things like this get out when you, if you don't maintain the piano regularly, you should have the piano tuned every six months. And you have to keep the humidity up in the winter time and all these things to do to maintain your piano. But this just gives you a few basic ideas about a piano. But See, now I'm not afraid to come in gently with the hand relax and, and balance on the key. And yet if I want big sound, I can get that too. So, now I won't be afraid of that note. <laughs> anyway, I hope you got something out of that and you enjoyed it. Have a good night now. Bye-bye.